Hello and welcome to what looks like the penultimate episode of the main um, game. It is Fire Control System. Beyond that, there's just one more puzzle and two briefings. So let's get on with this one. So this is very different. Just going to give it a run. So what we have here is we have this sort of display of a strategic sort of map. Let me just pause it. So it's divided into four of these what, sectors, yeah? And the enemy ships appear in the... The ship's weapons and defenses aren't exactly ready to go so you'll have to jury rig them but you're good at improvising right uh, the toads seem to have two methods of attack missiles and fighters so you'll have to watch out for both of those fortunately we managed to install the defensive cannon yay they will shoot down the nearest target when supplied with ammunition you'll also have use of the missile tubes which will allow you to construct and fire missiles missiles will automatically acquire and track targets but have minimal maneuverability so know what you're aiming for okay this isn't ideal, but, uh, hey, I'm sure you can figure it out, or else we're all dead, I guess. Okay, so that's, so that's, in Dave's words, what we need to do. So there are one, two, three, four missile tubes there, and these three parts here f are made into a missile. This is some kind of, I don't know, flat cannon for the defense cannon, and there's, um, four tubes there for it. So, like, to shoot down a blue one in there, I need to send a flat cannon to sector two, and that would shoot down one at a time. And then I also start need need to start. I need to start firing missiles at this guy here to shoot him down. And they're going to attack in waves and in patterns. You know, you might get two here or one there. And then there are these fighters as well. Carriers which launch fighters, etc, etc. Now, to do all that programmatically would be a right royal pain. But you don't. Because, look. We have this new tool here called Toggle. Now, what does that do? Toggle is the first time that you as the player can sort of interact with the game as it's running. It's a switch, which, okay, as I run, so the game is, uh, the game is now running, as you can see, it's counting down there. I can play with the switch as it's running. And just the other thing to, to note on this is that this is the kind of ship, your ship's health, our ship's health bar. And as these missiles hit, we lose health. And if we let enough of them through, bad things happen in that um, we're dead. So, watch our untimely demise here. We died. So the first time I saw this, I thought, oh, I have to sort of, you know, oh, build this long loop that sort of knows when to fire ones into one and watch this replay. But you don't have to do that. So I'm going to do it now, attempt it again, but I don't need to do any of the nonsense I thought I needed to do the first time. These are a game changer. So let's get going. Let's get, let's get these flat cannons or defensive cannons working first. I know from just that little run that I need two first, so, th so there's no point having, you know, ammos for one, three, and four, and none for two. So just going to keep that in mind. I'm going to run that here, and I am one low. So I might as well just hop it up one from the very start. Thank you. 
Okay. So what I'm going to do now is run them in. I'm going to try and do this as simply as possible. Run it into here. Turn it right. And then what I'm going to do... So this, so this would mean there could be an ammo store for... An ammo store for two, no, and then it falls down here to four. So I can't stop. So I need to just check, see if this works, that I'll get enough in four. And then to fire them, all I'm going to do is put, I'm going to do these manually fired. By manually fired, I mean I'm going to have to fire them myself using these toggle switches. It's probably, you know, you probably could do some sort of automatic system, but I'm not going to bother. That, see that one's on so I I might need it on because it might block one and get an extra ones back up here for two so if this gets blocked let's just have a look at this if I was to put one above it going the other way I'm just going to die okay that's going the priority is going that way So if I was to flip them round and run that again, the pride is going that way. So when the right hand side is full, it'll start filling up. <laughs> Stop shooting at me. It'll start filling up the left, which is great. Now I know I don't need four at the start, so I'm going to turn that on to block one so that, you know, it, it fills up four quicker. It fills up, yeah, it fills up four quicker. It needs one less and then two can be... I'm going to do the same here. I oh, know I don't want them there. I want to stop them going further. I want to do... And then obviously just watch this. I'll run it again. Fast forward. So they're coming in there like that now. So I can see them coming in. When do I get a shot? I get a shot there, boom, there, so I'm starting to shoot them down. So I get I get them in in plenty of time, um, even with the stack going down to four. And then let's just see what I need to do here. I need a... I need a four here, don't I? A pusher like that. I don't know why I need them. Probably don't. And then I need to put one of these new toggle switches on the outside of it. I don't want that one on. And the same here. Put a pusher in. So with the so this should fill up. There's a plenty of room for a bit of backlog here. Um, if it does back up, I believe it'll just start tipping them over there. If we have too much of this stuff, it shouldn't get in the way, and I can fire them manually. They're in at the start, which I don't want. I the only oh, wait, hang on, I do want that one in at the start because that gets me blocks to two quicker. So I can't. Re I don't really want to be running over here and doing um, the missile tubes as well. That means I'm going to try and fire these ones auto magically. So how are you going to do that, Paul? Mm -hmm. The first thing is let's get this built. So I'd like to try and get a 
So I'm going to try and get this done as simply as possible without too much messing around. See what sort of timings are going to be on it. Um, If this one can grab it in time, then we're good. If not, then no. That was terrible. Okay, let's reset that. What I'd like to do is I need this one getting here just a tad faster. So I need this one to have less paths to go. That means moving the whole thing over to the right just a little bit. And to do that, do I need to move it one away from the wall? I'm not sure. Okay, so that's making the missiles. Fine. Let's reset it. Um, then we need them pointing the right way. There's no point trying to cram them into a missile tube pointing the wrong way, so... Let's just make sure that can get free. Right, my cunning plan for this is then I need to do something very similar to this, get them all up here. I know I need to be firing two at the first ship we see, so there's no point leaving two till the end. And I actually think I can, I actually think I didn't need to do one extra, did I? Let's just check. I think this can go back to there. Sorry, that just looked a bit strange to my eyes, but it wasn't. Um, let's just check. I might have miscalculated. That might not work, but I don't see any reason why. A lone missile cruiser has entered our space. Okay. So what I'd like to do for this one is have them coming in like this. Have a lifter here. Put a 
and then continue it on afterwards. Okay, so the missiles are coming here. I need, the other thing I need to do is give it the ability to do a bit of backlog in the system. So, let's say I'm coming in like this. Give that a run and see where we've got to now. A lone missile cruiser has entered our space. Stop shooting at me. What may be better is if this was one lower. So I get more of a kind of a, more of a sort of, what's the word I'm looking for, magazine going into this. I'll try that. I'm going to, I'm going to try it there. And then move this down one. Like that. Stop shooting me. So let's say then it, it falls along here. When this, when this, so it's going to drop in here. Not drop in. It's going to slide in there. It's going to then go one, two, three. So there'll be there'll be a magazine of three waiting for missile tube two. It'll then come along here if, and it drops down. So so it would drop down to here. <laughs> I'm conveniently, I'm plucking all the numbers. <laughs> so I have to, oh, oh dear. Um, so this needs to be going like that, and then that can just rest there. And then it will come along here again. I'm not sure whether I need three or one more. Let's say I need one more. Again, I'm going to put a lifter there. That'll get that'll get this magazine effect for one. And when that's full, it'll finally be able to drop down here, where a conveyor will take it back to there. Okay. 
and then just to make sure I don't want anything ever going off this edge here. I'm just going to run that and see, just fast forward it until we die and just see if that's filling up these slots right. Oh, stop shooting me. No, it's not. I have a... I have this guy going in the wrong direction. Okay. And I don't want it to be able to push further forward there. Now, in terms of a backup, um, what I'm going to do is, as it hits this, I am going to put a lifter here. I'm going to make it do it and just see. I think it's that height there, isn't it? To... Actually, I think that was one too high as well, wasn't it? Let's just give that a run and see where we've got to now. A lone missile cruiser has entered our space. Yes, yeah, so with a bit of luck, like, it shouldn't be doing this normally, but it means I can store some amount of them here in a kind of mini silo. I may... Um, So the next thing I need to do is a firing mechanism. So what I'm going to do for this, I'd like this to be auto-firing. This is going to be my machine gun over here. This one I'm going to have to manually fire. But this one I'd like to sort of auto-fire. So to do that, what I'm going to do is remember that, let's say this one here is going to sit one, two, three. So that's a missile. They're three long. So if I do that... And then put a pusher. And put another pusher. I think that's lined up. So I want to line a pusher up with each of these. With each of the tubes. Like that. This doesn't exist. I don't need that there. And then behind each pusher, I'm going to put one of these manual switches. Yep, I did that wrong, didn't I? The re I mean, I probably could do it by feeding in a... by doing exactly the same thing by replacing this block here with a push-in... with a push-in... Um, downward-looking conveyor, and this block here... In fact... I mean, maybe I should do that. Ah, maybe I should do that. Yes, 
yeah, I'm going to try that. This, what I was going to do was put some sort of timing loop here and have this whole thing pushing in and out. But, you know, now that I think about it, um, I think that's probably overcomplicating it when it's not needed. So let me just remember how this worked. Um, two, three. Two and a downward looking one of them and put that on a pusher This one needs to be on a pusher too. Okay, this is making a bit more sense, I think. Looks lined up to me. There and there. And finally, there and there. Now all I need is these so they're lined up correctly with the uh, the tubes I want to be firing so it's one two <laughs> I can't see any of the numbers yeah it's one two three four I should be able I should be able to do this but there, there will undoubtedly be mistakes. Mistakes will be made. Okay, let's get, get on with this then. Uh, it's been way too long to build a very, very simple little thing. Let's start running it and see what happens. But I know I need, I know that two comes in first of all. So this should fire two. Fire the tubes, the missile tubes. Start this up. And in the meantime, I need to be up here um, protecting us from boom, boom, boom. That's four birds in the air. I think that's probably enough. Let's just flip that off. Back to our job protecting the... Boom. Boom. Right, and we have 40. We've cleared the first guy there. Now, hopefully, we'll see what happens. If I need to... If, if I get too much here... I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. I can just, you know, fire some warning shots at them. And the same here. Um, we haven't seen... I know I need to let this guy have... I'm going to turn this one off so that that means he can drop in now and have stuff ready. I haven't obviously had enough to fill up three. So we'll see where we get to. I'm going to unpause it. Watch these guys filling up. Six seconds. 
Okay, so that is in sector four, which we know. So I'm going to start firing at him. So to fire at him, I need to turn this switch on. And let's see, I should get a good burst of four quickly. One, two, oh, hello. I'm going to start firing two as well. Get on you. I'm going to keep an eye on this. Okay, so that's five birds in the air down here in four. So I'm going to turn him off. That's enough. It should be enough and it should fill it up again. I'm going to let two keep firing away. It hasn't even started yet. And then I need to be on my defensive cannons over here. Oh, hello. Do I have stuff ready for one? Oh, I do. Fire them torpedoes. Okay, now I need to start shooting down these inbounds. I've got one in, two and four. So two and four, turn them on. Let's give it a burst, turn them off again. You can turn these on and off when it's paused. So, I mean, it's not that... They're, they're gone. Wow, I really did give a <laughs> number four. Probably far too many torpedoes. It is turned off, isn't it? Yeah. I probably could have turned that off a little bit quicker. Means there would have been more available for other ones. Ah, it's not a big deal, I don't think. We can take a bit of damage. Okay, so there's ones here in Torpedo Tube. I need to turn on Flat Cannon 1, Flat Cannon 2, and Flat Cannon 4. Unpause it so it, I can see them pulse and then turn them off again. That's five birds in the air at two now, so I don't need any more. Turn you off. And let one continue to hammer away a bit. I mightn't be getting any more up to one for a bit. Uh-oh. Probably because I fired so many down here at this fella. I need a one and a two flat cannon as well. Let's not forget that. Bum, bum. I need one. So what do I need here? I need a one, a two, and a four. One, two, and a four. Yeah, look, I fired way too many missiles at these two and have left me a paucity for firing into number one, which is a pity. It's going to take a little bit of time to reload. And I need to do a one, a two, and a four again. Yeah, okay. If I hadn't fired so many... Oops, uh, one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Save me. That's another three missiles gone out at one, okay? That's done then. Right, so I've got, yeah, got three in the air for one, so I need to start shooting this guy down here. Turn him on. And I probably have to deal with a couple more of incoming flak. 
How are we doing for missiles? Good, doing okay. It's not bad at all. Um, keep shooting. Port, keep it going. Firing many, many missiles down here. I've got two ships to kill, so... I'll let another one go at least. Okay, I'm going to... Or let one more go. Yep, I think that should be good. Turn that one off. If I just need to keep an eye on here, I don't get too many missiles everywhere. I'm going to have to start flat cannons. They're going to be... They're in sector 4, which is down here. I think. Nope, they're going up to sector... Sector two. Missed. <laughs> Still got a lot of these sort of fighter guys flying around. Oh, hello. So this is all backed up. I don't. I'm going to fire. Fire one of everything. Clear out the tubes a bit. I don't want to put loads of them there. Or two of everything, as the case may be. So these are definitely in two again now, so... Pause that again there. Um, pause that again. Uh, where have we got? We've got more in... How long? 21 seconds. We've got more in too. So let's just go here. Four point six seconds. Well, I'm going to give them a, a blast of everything again. I've got lots of missiles here. So that should send two out to everybody. So that's got those ones going. So I need to keep on one. And I need to keep on two. And I need flat cannons in two. So I think that's enough going at one. And I need two continuing to fire. Well, I've got to do a lot of work in two here, don't I? They're shooting me with their lasers. Um, so it's just two, and two is turned on, so it's just a matter of, time, matter of waiting to get some missiles for it. I also need to fire some into this, I think. Whoops, he's well in there, isn't he? Yeah, those ones missed. Um, they didn't manage to turn and track the other guy. Ah, oh, we'll have plenty more missiles in a bit. Maybe I shouldn't have fired all... Yeah, if I hadn't have fired those extra ones down there, I think this would be over at this stage. Oh, well. Oh, hello. More, even more of them. But they're all in this one here, so it's just a matter of getting... Getting the ammo in, isn't it? Um, keep firing these guys.
Yep, I mean... Yay! Well, I'll be damned. You did it. I am super proud of you that we are not space pancakes. Oh, space pancakes. Uh, the, anyway, yeah, no, why don't we just get the hell out of here before something else goes wrong? Okay, and, you know, quite a good block score. I don't know what's been... You know, I, I when I started... When I, the first time I went to do this and record it, um, I didn't quite understand what the toggle was. I didn't realise you could set it, so I spent, you know, half an hour and then thinking. But, you know, once you discover that it can be flipped whilst the game is running, even whilst the game is paused, it becomes quite easy. Well... That was the penultimate, the second last. There's only one more level of this to do. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please drop a like on it. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear from you. Anything, especially like if there's anything else we'd like to do or I or I should be doing in Infini Factory after the main playthrough. What my current plan is to do some mini episodes on each of the achievements which I haven't even looked at really yet. I, a couple of them popped as I was playing the game. I don't think you get to see them because I don't think the this OBS capture will actually capture that Steam overlay prop or at all. And then, you know, maybe just take a couple of the levels and just have a look at these really silly low block score, low cycle score solutions. Not silly, but, you know, they are, they're actually not opposite silly. They're quite clever, I suppose. Right, that was um, whatever it's called. That was fire control system. I've got a mission briefing and then I've just got one more puzzle to do. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.